So in this lesson, I'll show you how you can reload a page using JavaScript, and I'll also show you a couple of tips and tricks if you're going to go ahead and do this. So I'm just here on a site, webdesignernews.com, and it's kind of like a feed of articles for web designers. So it might be that we want to reload the page from time to time just to get fresh articles as they come in. So to do that in JavaScript, it's another one-liner. It's window.location.reload. And it's a function, so we need the parentheses on the end of that. And you can see when we hit enter, the page actually reloads and there's a couple of errors in the console, so I'll just clear those out for the moment. So that's all you need to do to actually reload a page, but there are a couple of other things that you might want to consider if you're going to take this approach. The first is you can actually pass a parameter into the reload function, and the parameter will either be true or false. And this just lets the reload function know whether you want to reload the page from the browser cache or go and get a fresh copy from the server. And by passing in true, we actually bypass the cache and go directly to the server to get a fresh copy of the page. So you can see in our instance it doesn't make any difference because we've got the latest version of the page already. But if you're putting a, a button or something on your page to do this reload, you might want to pass that true value into the function so that it gets a fresh copy of the page. So what are some tips and tricks that you can do with this? Well you can get the page to reload every so many seconds. If, for example, on this site, you want to keep the feed of articles up to date for the user, and we can simply do that by wrapping the reload function inside a set timeout. So with the set timeout, after five seconds has passed, the page will reload. And if this was actually embedded into the JavaScript code of our page, every time the page gets reloaded, the set timeout would get set again, and it would reload in another five seconds. And of course another thing you could do is set up a button so that when the user clicks it, it reloads the page. and simply setting up an event listener on that button to call the reload function when it's clicked enables us to give the user the ability to reload the page when they need to. Of course for the user that's exactly the same as just clicking the refresh button in their browser so you might kind of wonder if that's actually worth doing and I probably would add as well if you're thinking of using the reload function just stop for a moment and see if there's a better way that you can achieve what you're trying to do. So with our example website that we've got here if we're just trying to refresh the feed for the user we might be better off having an Ajax call that goes out and gets the data and then updates the timeline of articles dynamically using JavaScript rather than having to reload the entire page. But maybe you've got a reason to automatically reload the page for the user, and if so, you can use window.location.reload.